So are we studying the five major circles of latitude? We came up with this little craft for the kids to make and just create. And, and I'll tell you how we did it. We started with just the outline of the world or the earth. It's just so they just colored it in blue and green. And then they put the labels on each circle of latitude. And then after that, I wanted some texture on each circle of latitude. And I just happened to have some puffy paint that we used for something else last year and I still had some leftover so they were excited to use that we squirted that on the on each line and as you can tell after you let it dry it has some texture it's raised and then they can put their hands over and as they're repeating the words they can feel it and touch it and then for me it just looks cute it looks pretty so then we can hang it up in the classroom and decorate our classroom with it and just every so often point to it and hey what's the fair five major circles of latitude and they can go over and look at it and and recite it back to me. If you don't have puffy paint, uh, you could use uh, pipe cleaners, you know, or you could use yarn and just stick a string of yarn on each circle of latitude or anything that has texture. So, my idea with this is that uh, I'd like to present the material to my kids in different kinds of ways. Like, it's the same material, we'll do it go over and over in different ways. We'll have something like this that's hands-on that they can touch that they can feel they can build and uh, we'll have body movement so they can touch their bodies to go with it and that'll help the kinesthetic learning style I always make pictures picture cards and things that I, they can look at so that'll address the visual learning style um, we all we always try to find songs to go with it if there's no songs we make up some kind of tune to go with it and uh, that'll address the auditory learning style and we can recite it and you know use our words so as I, as we're studying um, a theme or any content, we just try to address it this, the same material over and over in different learning styles. And that way, if a child cannot get it by touching and feeling, they might get it by listening and by, by singing or by looking at a picture. So we'll just try to hit it in all fronts so that one way or another it's going to stick in there. So I hope you guys can use it. Just go to our wise, uh, thewisenest.com and download it over there. And I hope you guys can have fun with your kids. Thank you.